All right, we've got Yoyoka here, and this is an instant request from Rob Yule, so thank you so much, Rob. Uh, Rob says, this popped up in my feed this morning, and I thought, dang, Wave needs to react to this. Not only is this one of her best solos, but the camera work is a refreshing change to see from all different angles. This is from the Ken Okada group featuring Yoyoka, a live performance in San Jose Jazz, which is it, in its totality is fantastic. So cool. We've seen uh, her with them before, right? In a like another video. But anyway, thank you so much for this instant request, Rob. I really appreciate it. Let's jump in. the stick around on the head to change the tension that's pretty cool and switched to traditional grip there I want to watch her footwork there again. Dang. Dude. <laughs> what the heck? How is she so good at jazz, too? Like, this is a completely different style from rock music, which is what we usually see her playing. And of we've seen her play with jazz musicians before. She absolutely nails it. But it's like to be able to do an improv solo in a jazz style is just a whole different ball game. And the way she's seamlessly blending her unique uh, rock style, kind of Bonzo inspired parts of this remind me of like the Moby Dick, the iconic Moby Dick drum solo. But then. It also is super jazzy. Other parts remind me of like Senri. It's just such a such an eclectic blend 
of different styles that she's fusing together so seamlessly and just blows my mind that I'm going to bring it up again. Obviously, for her age to have such a wide spectrum of styles that she's able to play and sound so good in, it's just (laughs) mind-blowing. I don't even understand. And this is last year. What the heck? 2023, November. Hold on, I also want to point out, she's doing these complex things with her hands while keeping the steady double kick going. Which is a lot harder than it looks. She's experimenting with different things she could do on the acoustic drums to get different sounds and effects out of them. Uh, You know, muting the cymbal, holding it, scraping the stick along the side. She did the same thing earlier, pressing down on the head to increase the tension while she was hitting it. Like, and on top of that, the chops, everything is just so good. Uh, I don't even know what to say, dude. I'm just like sitting here mouth agape, stunned at which you'd think would take a lot because I've been following Yoka for such a long time. You'd think it wouldn't surprise me anymore, but she still does. She's still able to completely blow my mind with things that I'm like, she could do that too. Uh, This is... This is elite level drumming. Like this is as difficult as it gets, you know, um, because there's so much feel. It's not only really fast chops, but also really dialed in feel and dynamic and everything. Okay, I gotta, I don't want to talk over that. I just love how she tightens the hi hat in the middle of playing, doesn't miss the beat. (laughs) 
whoever was doing the camera there, like, got their mind blown, apparently. <laughs> oh. That retardando? So hard to do. In the pocket like that. Man, she was really getting lost in it there, like feeling it. This is the longest drum solo I've ever seen her play. Uh, but the way she played with, um, with the tempo and the dynamics so much throughout, it could never possibly get stale or stagnant because she was constantly changing the tempo, constantly changing the dynamic and the style, and uh. I can't wait to see her alongside Senri, dude. It's coming. Someday in the future, they're going to be doing a drum duet. Um, it's just meant to be. <laughs> this this here shows that she, even now, could keep up with Senri. I mean, give her 10 years, and it will be a pretty mind-blowing drum duet. Anyway, dang, that was really cool. I don't know what else to say. This is so, <laughs> so above my pay grade. Like, wow, jazz, dude. It blows my mind. Anyway, thank you so much, Rob Yule, for sharing this with us. I think it's pretty obvious how mind blown I am right now because I'm speechless. But thank you, Yo Yoka, for sharing your craft with us, doing such amazing things, and being so inspiring to all of us. Um, so, anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. You can sub if you want to, if you don't, nobody will. And you can act real cool and nothing like a fool And I can act like an imbecile